So I'm making a receiver mount to go on the front of my truck. <clears throat> I had a Kurt um, front mount receiver on this truck before, but now I have the Boss plow bracket. So I'm making a receiver mount that will attach to the plow bracket. So quickly, what I'm doing is I've taken a couple of steel plates. Uh, you can see the trace. That's more or less the outline of the side of the boss mount for the RT3 hitch. So I bought these pins at Princess Auto. Those are one inch diameter pins. It was one pin, like so, and I cut three inches off and I've welded it to the back location point. So how these are going to go in is actually pretty slick. So if you look at the plow bracket, that back pin goes in there, this goes here, and the other pin goes through here to lock it in place. Uh, we'll have the other locking pin. So I'm putting one of those putting one of those on each side, and then I'm going to now weld an angle iron from here to the inside of the other one to hold the whole thing as a frame, get it lined up, and then finish it up. So we'll see how this goes. So there's what I have. <clears throat> I have the two plates with the pins, hole in front and I've cut, it was exactly 16 and a quarter, the piece I use because I can't push it too far because my welds are sticking out a little more. But in any case, that actually slides right in there, pins go in, I'll show you that. And there you have it. The uh, bracket sits in place perfectly. I'm gonna trim off some of this down below and in the back. Angle iron goes across, everything's joined, it's solid. So what I'm gonna do now is weld another piece of angle in the front and the receiver is going to be welded to that sticking straight out. So there we have it. It's uh, all tacked and goes in real easy, comes out real easy and I got the uh, long receiver because I always seem to be fighting to get underneath and I had an extension. So it's a little far out, but I actually like it that way. That's a, a 16 or 18 inch receiver. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, I'm gonna weld it fully in place, uh, strong as heck with that uh, plow bracket. And I can slide anything in there and move it around. It's easy to hitch because it's far enough away from the bumper and I don't have to worry about it hitting on a tight turn. So anyway, uh, pull it out and weld it all up. And there it is, it's all done. Uh, actually pretty slick, very solid. Uh, the only thing I had debated doing was welding another uh, piece out around with another hole so that it actually encapsulated the hitch like the plow does. But to be honest, the size of these things and how solid this is, for what I'm going to be using it, uh, it's never going to pop out. So I really don't think I'm going to even bother with that. But there's about uh, 50 bucks worth of material there and uh, took a couple of hours. So not a big deal great uh, front hitch for uh, if you got a Boss RT3 mount. So anyway, if you found this useful, uh, please help me out, uh, like the video and subscribe so some others can find it.